Hey what's up guys Josh here. So in this video I'm gonna quickly explain how we can enable this thing in your Windows laptop or PC by which you can see different uh, styles in your Windows laptop like frame rates, GPU temperature, CPU temperature by which you can monitor each individual component and get an idea of what's impacting your game's performance. So first things first, firstly we're gonna head over to the Google Chrome or any browser that you're using and then we're gonna install this application called MSI Afterburner. So click on the first uh, link that appears uh, which is from the official website itself and then hit on download make sure that you're downloading it from this website msi.com i'll leave it uh, in the description so once it gets downloaded open the file explorer and for our convenience i'm gonna you know put this on the desktop itself so, here. So once you've extracted it, uh, the setup of this file appears here. Double click on that. Then it will ask you for uh, administrator permission. Click on yes. And then it runs the setup. So here click on OK then accept the license then as you can see it uh, by default installs this optional add-on called Drupal Tuner Statistics Server so we are going to need this I'll explain you why later so make sure that this one is checked here then click on next once this MSI Afterburner application is installed uh, it will automatically uh, proceed with the Drupal Tuner's Installation process as you can see here So this is for the review to application the optional add-on that we checked uh, before click on ok next set the license again. All right, so we have successfully installed both the applications now so this is the default look of the MSI Afterburner application and this is one of the many looks that it supports. I will explain later how we can change this skin. But firstly, let me introduce a, a few things here. Firstly, if you click on this uh, monitor icon, you will get to this window and here you can get data about each individual component in your PC and how they are performing. This is sort of an overkill, we are not going to get into the depth of anything but this is just to show you what it, what it's capable of. And this application certainly has many functionalities. Many people use it for underclocking or overclocking the CPU and GPU. But this is only a brief video on how you can get those on-screen data in the game that you play. So we are not going to get into the depth of anything like that. So anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight to the point of the video. For the on-screen keys, you have to go to the settings panel. And here, as you can see, it has a lot of functionalities like I said before. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to head over to the monitoring tab. And here, as you can see, uh, most of the components are enabled by default, so this check mark will make sure that the component is activated and it is being monitored by the application. So make sure that the ones that you want to be monitored or checked, like the frame rate, which we always want to monitor while we are playing the game. So in order for the, these data to be displayed in your game, you're gonna have to click on the specific component that you're going to monitor and then you have to check this box right here show in on-screen display and the process is as simple as that you just enable uh, the components that you want to monitor and then check this box show in on-screen display and once you have applied the settings as i've told you click on apply and then as i've told you before when you go to the last panel over here which is user interface you can get to change the skin so by default, it is in the MSI Mystic Afterburner skin by Drex Design, and you can change that skin if you want to. You can see here. So when you press OK, so that's it. Moreover, when you move on to the on-screen display panel over here, you can select a key of your choice. For example, I'm pressing Shift plus F11. By this, when you open the game and when you press shift plus f11 as i've assigned here then it will act as the hotkey for enabling the data or starts to be shown right there so that you can discipline the on-screen data when you feel like it's bothering you a bit 
So once you have done all this, next up, you want to go to start mode and search for River Tuna. Open this application. So once it's been activated, you'll show right here. So this is the application and here you can play with the appearance of the data and stats that you've enabled the MSI afterburner. So by clicking on these corners, you can choose which corner of the display you want the stats to be shown. Like this and here you can change the color of this. Most people will go with the red or the orange itself. You see. And by sliding this you can change the size of the text. And the thing is that you can play with the settings while the game is still on so that you won't have to close the game uh, to in order to modify the setting and then get back to the game to see if the text size is appropriate to the games. Enable this shadowing or the display field if you want to. Anyway, once you have done all these things, after you open the game now, you can see at the top left or top right or wherever you assigned it that the data about each component is monitoring only the ones that you have selected to be shown on screen in the MSI Afterburner application like this. Which will help you to better understand at what graphics and at what settings your laptop is being the most effective the gameplay. Anyway, that's it for this video guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.